Hi, it's Harrison Solomon from Hook Splint again. Today we just wanted to do a refresher course on the best practices for locking the tabs on the hook splint. After sizing, you remove the splint from the hand and your tab is through the appropriate perforation. Your first lock, the best practice is to lock it towards the circle of the splint, not towards the free end. And we think this first tab is best done with a loop configuration where you drop it into the adjacent perforation. And then I just smooth it out. I like to use this needle driver. The outer tab is then brought across. You make your rigid zone here, which is gonna support the finger. And then you simply bend the tab 90 degrees you drop it in the appropriate perforation, and that just locks down flush. That does not need the belt loop configuration. Notice that entire process took less than one minute. If you'd like to, you can crimp down your second tab, but we found it usually doesn't need that. So notice belt loop configuration on the first lock, simple tab, lock on the second configuration, goes back on the hand, keeping nice relative motion.